Hello everyone, welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for being here with me today. We are gonna do my Christmas binder. Now, I haven't done the math or counted, but I'm hoping by some miracle we can finish it today. I don't know if that's possible, but I like to take care of other business before we get into the stuffing and everything like that. So right now, I'm gonna ask Matt while he's editing to put the time up on the screen right here, right now. And that time will be the time where we start filling the Christmas binder with cash. So that way, if you don't want to see these um, things that I'm going to show you before we start this cash stuffing part, then you can look at the time and just skip right ahead to that time. So for everyone else who wants to stay and watch, the first thing I want to do is just say hi, ask you how you guys are doing. How is your week going? I just had to look for 45 minutes to find these two Christmas challenges. I did not put them back in my binder and literally 45 minutes. So I'm hot and sweaty and grumpy and <laughs> let's just get going. I noticed we have an IOU. So first, let's take care of some other business quickly. I did go to Hobby Lobby and I got a few little decorations. I was inspired by Madeline's. It is very hard to find flat decorations that are inexpensive, but I think I did a good job. Anyway, um, the very first thing I wanna do is just show you quickly some new items in my shop. So I came up with this Magnify Your Savings, and basically it's this larger velvet bag, and it has all these magnifying glasses. They're plastic, and you know, they're not like great quali quality or anything, but they do the job, and they have numbers on them. So the idea for this challenge was to do kind of like an envelope challenge where you do like 26 envelopes if you get paid every two weeks. And so these are the numbers one through 26. Now, if you get paid once a week, you can do this bag twice over the year and still, and just have twice and end up with twice as much. So you can do, but you can do this any way you want. You can also just do this once a week and just do however many you want. You can do more than one. But basically, I just wanna show you quickly. I'm gonna put these up here at the same time. I made two different game boards. They're both laminated, A5, corners rounded. They both have directions on them. And one of them is for you is meant for you to pick one out of the bag randomly. It's 19, find the green 19 on here. You can check it off, X it off, or color it in. And so that way you can kind of keep your place on here and know what you have left. And then, for another way to do it is this game board here. And I just had to move it closer because I can't see the, the fine print. And for this one, this is meant to, if you want, it's just to mix it up a little bit. So you'd pull one out of here and then find, instead of coloring or checking it off, you would find any red one and just write in the number I got, which is one. Okay, now if this was Madeline, she would have not have just gotten one, she would have gotten the 26. But anyway, so you can write it in, color it in, whatever you'd like. So this is in the shop, it's called Magnify Your Savings. And then I did a spin off of that because I just thought this was so super cute. And I don't have any challenges in my shop. Oh my goodness, I didn't think I pressed play. I just had a mini heart attack. And this next challenge, it comes with three different things and it's a scratch off. So we did the silver four. This is a scratch off and this is not one through numbers one through 26 like that bag is. This is save $75. So you get to save $75, but there are 26 numbers. So the numbers are only going to be one to five. So this is really good for low income, whereas the other challenge I was gearing toward more of a high, higher income. Also what you're gonna get with this, but I'm calling it a bundle, a scratch off bundle. These gold mini stickers, you save 150, you save twice as much and the numbers go from one to 10. And then this last one is, and I apologize, this goes with the other set. So basically you get these two and they come in this bundle comes in an A, let's see, an A5 envelope. So you'll get the envelope two. And I'm trying to remember which one this goes with. 
I, <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, I'm having a total brain cramp. I believe this one goes with this. Directions, roll a die or dice and write the number inside a magnifying glass. Okay, yes. So this one comes with, it's a bundle of three and it comes with the scratch off. So you have the two scratch offs and then you have this where you can just roll a die and write the number in or you can just choose your own numbers and just write all the numbers in and then check them off as you save them. You can do this however you want. But so this is a bundle of three that comes together. And then the other one that comes with the the magnifying glasses that are all numbered comes with these two. And both of these game boards are geared toward the numbers one through 26, which is why you get these with numbers one through 26 on them. So both of these are live in the shop. So I hope you enjoy them. I am so excited about them. I can't wait to start them. Now, let me show you some Happy Mail quickly and then we will continue. So I'm gonna try to do this very quickly. I went to my PO box the other day and I got something from Dawn Porter and we'll see what's inside. I savagely opened it and savagely threw everything back in. So you'll have to forgive me for that. It says, we are nuts for saving. This is so cute, you guys. And this is a, an envelope she made me so I didn't have to do any of the work and it's card stock and it's, she cut it out nicely. It says, we are nuts for savings mini challenge for $75. So I definitely want to do this. And there's a card in here for me with a very sweet note and I'm not gonna read it, but it's it's from Dawn Porter and sh her Etsy shop is The Craft Bin. And yeah, you know what? Um, I lied, I'm gonna read it, it's short. Dear Lizzie, my name is Dawn and I love watching your YouTube videos. About a week or so ago, you had one that had some acorns on your table. Yes, and I do have those. And I should have got them for this video, but I wasn't thinking ahead of the time at the time. And I was excited about my new decorations. Okay, um, I made this mini challenge. You can use it or put it in a giveaway. I just wanted you to know you are appreciated. Sincerely, Dawn the Craft Bin. So Dawn, thank you so much. I smiled so much when I got this. That was really thoughtful of you. And I'm thankful that you watched my videos and, I, and I'm excited to do that challenge. And then I got another piece of Happy Mail on the same day. And you guys, getting these two pieces of Happy Mail totally cheered me up and just, or just made me so happy. This is from Pam C. And I just love getting stuff from you guys and just seeing your creativity and just what you have to say and what's inside. And this is actually super special. And let's see. There was a note that says, Lizzie, just a quick note to make you smile. I have put some fun stickers I hope you enjoy, plus an e-buck for you and a g-buck for Matt. Have a blessed day, a viewer and subscriber, Heart Pam. So Pam's, and then Pam included this. And you guys, this is so awesome. Wait till you see this. First of all, okay, these stickers Okay, I love Ross. She obviously knows that. And I love this one. I'm fine. Or ho however he says it, I might have just botched that up. This face is everything. This is just adorable. And then there's a cute little unicorn. So yes, very cute little stickers. And you guys, these are hearts. And then I turned it over and I think they're like flowers or something. Some geometric design, but one of them is a G-Buck for Matt. Oh, here's the E-Buck for me, which I am not going to spend. And this must, must be the G-Buck for Matt. So you guys, oh, this is so special. Yep, there's the G right there. Are you jealous, Tracy? I hope you're not. Okay, so Pam, let me know. Please comment and let me know if you made these. I cannot believe someone made these. This is just so creative and this is just so special and you guys are just awesome and you just make me smile so much. I don't deserve all your kindness and all your happy mail, but I want you to know it is very, very much appreciated. So let me, I'll put that back better later, but thank you guys so much for that mail. That was awesome. And now we are going to get right to the Christmas binder and I did put the camera up a little bit closer today because someone had requested that when I show my new items. So hopefully everyone could see that, but if you can't, it's already in the shop and I have pictures of all of my items of every part of them up close. So you can go see it in the listing. Okay, so we only have three categories left in this binder I had made. 
and it's very thick. I can't wait to finish it, get the money to the bank and scratch off another goal. So we have three left and someone um, suggested that I use, I think a different die or take a die and put different numbers on it. So I don't just keep rolling because we only need a two, three and a seven. So it doesn't really make sense to keep rolling a 12 sided die and probably not get any of those numbers very often. So I have an I that that sprung an idea. So I'll show you in a moment. But let's get the cash tray out. And then we'll start counting the money. And it's 262. And this was my YouTube pay that I received this month. I actually I'm not 100% sure I got it yet this month. Because I planned for this video a week ago. I probably, yeah, no, I did get it by now. But anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching and for watching the ads. It truly helps me out for liking my videos, for subscribing. This, this money is because of you guys and I am so grateful and appreciative of it. So let's count and make sure it's all there. It's, let's see, one, two, oh, we'll have to use that. It's 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 30, 40, 250, 262. Oh, I needed a much bigger one today. Okay, that's all right. I think I can, I think I can go like that and I'll be okay. Yeah, I should be fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll and we're gonna see what we can do, you guys. Let me move this. I really do wanna keep the scarecrows there. They're so cute. So let me put that up there. And here's what I did. I, actually, it's kind of hard to open. <laughs> let me tip it. I have a die in here and this little pumpkin dish and it's one, two, three, one, two, three. So here's what we're gonna do. There's two and three that we need and we need seven. So if we land a one, we're gonna pretend it's seven. So this should work perfectly for today. So I did forget to get a scratcher. So let me see if I can find that quickly. And there it is. Okay, so uh, let's, um, why don't we go ahead and do these, this IOU first? So we have an IOU for this one. So this is from Heather at Gentle Charms Budgets. And it should be number three. Okay. <laughs> Trip me up for a second. Okay. So yes, this Christmas tree one. So we owe this $4. So let's... Oh, and I don't have lower bills because, again, I avoid the bank. So... I've been avoiding the bank. So I'm gonna take out a one and put in a five. And I'm just gonna sneak this in where it goes. I cannot wait to finish this binder, you guys, and count everything in here. I am so excited. This is gonna be awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside and let's go ahead and roll to see which challenge we're gonna begin with today. So we got a one. So that's gonna be seven, which is the one from Cindy at, at Cindy Cat Budgets. So let's go to that and here it is. I think I'll move that out of the way. Okay, so we have room, you guys can see everything. So we finished this one and now we have this big one, okay. Oh yeah, this is a big guy. Okay, I forgot how big some of these were. Yeah, we're not gonna finish this binder today. <laughs> that was really wishful thinking on my part. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna scratch this without, Matt doesn't have to fast forward. Um, I wonder if I should do more than one, but we don't have a ton of money to work with and we have a lot of big numbers. So I think we'll just stick with the one. So it's 25, so I'm gonna take 25 and Let's see, now I'm confused because I <laughs> changed the direction of the binder. So it's behind here, excuse me, and doesn't look like we can make change. That's too bad. Um, we can make a little bit of change. Let's do the, let's make $50 and change and we'll take this 50 right here. Oh, and then I can do 20s, 10s, no fives and ones, okay. So that's good for that one. And yeah, and then we'll just roll again. Okay, so let me get this back out and we'll see what we get next. 
I've been collecting Christmas challenges for next year's binder and I just have them all in a bin. I think I'm just about done collecting them. I'm so excited to start making. I'm gonna make two binders this time. So we got a three, which is the Christmas tree from Heather at Gentle Charms. So let's take the IOU off because we paid that. And let me grab my scratcher and we don't have that many left. So let me see, I may do more than one. Um, Okay, I, and I won't scratch them all the way. We'll just we'll just go quickly. So five, so I'm definitely gonna do another one. So five and then 30, okay, so 35, wow. And again, I don't have a five. So let's see if we can make change in this one. All right, it was this one right here. Oh yeah, I think we have plenty of change in this one. So let me just double check. Yep, yeah, we owe it 35, so. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna take back a five and give it 40, okay? And then, wait, did I just take two 20s out of here, you guys? What did I just do? What did I just do? Oh no, okay, this is gonna drive me crazy. Okay. What did I do, you guys? Now I don't know if I, if I put an extra 20 in here. The only way I can check, since you guys can't tell me, is to add up these numbers. I'm gonna do that. Matt, please fast forward this. I noticed on my last video, there was a section you didn't fast forward. So fast forward this, please. And um, I'm gonna add up the ones that I scratched. Okay, looks like 420 if I did that right. So let's see if we have 420 in here. So let me grab, I always forget about this, but then I remember when I have to count a bunch of bills that are sticking about, that are sticking together. Okay, so 420 is what we should have right now if I did that right. So one, two, two, one, two, 220, 240, 260, 283, 350, 370, 380, 394, 10, 20, 5, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, <laughs> guys. Okay, I'm gonna make a decision here, okay? I'm just gonna make a decision. Instead of stressing over this, it's even if that 20, I thought maybe I had was putting an extra 20 into the envelope from here. Turns out I'm off by more than 20. So I'm gonna make the decision to finish this challenge. Let's finish this right now. So I'm gonna scratch these three. So 20, 25, oops, and 25. So that's 50, that's 70 we need to add, okay? So I will add the 70, 20, 40, 60, 70. But this challenge is for 500. So I'm gonna count it again very carefully with you guys. Okay, and anything over 500, I'm gonna put back here to stuff in the other challenges. So how does that sound? It sounds good? Okay, good, I'm so glad you guys agree. So let me just, why is this all out of order? Okay, so we just have this 10 and this 20 to put in here. All right, so we need $500 for this challenge. And let's go ahead and count it slowly. So 1, 2, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 440, 450. So we need 50 more. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. Okay? So this should be 500. And I'm gonna count it one more time. Matt, please speed it up. I just want to triple check. $95,500, okay. So we do have $500 right here, you guys. This is awesome. So how much were we over by? 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so we were over by 20, but last time when I counted it, I swear we were over by more than 20. Okay, you know what? I know Matt's just shaking his head, whatever, it's fine, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna make some change. We need we need five, so five, 10, 
All right, so I'll put these two fives back and take a 10. See, this is gonna be a little bill exchange. And then we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I'm gonna put 60 in there and take 20, 40, 60. Okay, and now we're done. And we should still, I won't, I won't count it again, but we sh should definitely have 500. And I'm sorry I couldn't roll, but it was important that we rectify that. It was important to me anyway. So we finished a challenge. So I am not going to remember to show you this at the end. I'll just tell you right now, not going to remember. So let's, um, I guess it doesn't really matter which one, but I'm just going to write Christmas so that I remember. Oh, you guys. <sighs> I am off my game. I'm sorry. It's been a really long day. I have been working really hard on Etsy orders and I forgot for this one, we keep the money in here and we put in a fully funded slip. So, okay. But we did finish one challenge. So we can at least mark it off on here. So it's the one Christmas tree from Heather Gentle Charms on Etsy. And so we have two left. So a two or a seven. So we have more money. So let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of this money. And since I'm making change and making mistakes, it looks like this video, which I thought was gonna be super short, is gonna be a little bit longer, so. Okay. One, so that's the seven. So this is the one from, that's the one from Cindy. So let's go back to that one and I will tell you next year, now that I've met a ton more people that I want to support and everything, I am going to try to find some smaller amount challenges, or I, I actually already have, and I'm going to have two binders, and, and some of my friends and just some of the creators out there on Etsy have made challenges that are 8.5 by 11 that are gorgeous. So I'm going to have 8.5 by 11 challenges, A5, and A6 challenges. It's going to be a blast. I'm so excited. So let me go ahead and start scratching another one, and... It is 40, so we will stop there to give the other challenge a chance to get um, some more money in it today. So, but I'm just gonna grab 10, 20, 30, and 40. So at least we're making good progress on this. And so, wrong direction, Lizzie, okay. So we'll put this in here. And this is getting so exciting, oh my goodness. All right, so we need to roll again. And it's a three. So we need a two or a one. And we got a three again, okay. And a three again. And a three again, okay. So this is fate telling me they want me to tell you this story. So when my daughter Addie had her third birthday, excuse me, when she had her fourth birthday, we told her she was turning four and she was gonna be this many and we were gonna have a birthday party. And she said, no, she refused to turn four. She said she was not gonna have, she was not gonna turn four. She was not gonna have a party where we celebrate four. She said, I'm gonna be three again and I wanna have a three again birthday. And I'm telling you, we had a three again birthday and we said happy three again and we called it three again. And we got her a number three balloon again and did three candles again because that's what she wanted. And to this day, we don't know why she didn't want to turn four. The only thing I can think of is because I told her that once she turned four, I was going to make her, um, I was going to make her use a, um, a booster seat, one of the full back ones and everything like that. But I told her she was going to, um, use a booster seat because it'd be so much quicker for me to get her in and out of the car. And she was tall enough and she weighed enough. So it was legal and everything like that. So anyway, and she didn't want to. So I think part of me back then thought that's why she's saying I'm three again, because she doesn't want to change her car seat. But, and in the end, we let her keep her car seat for as long as she wanted. But the three again <laughs> reminded me of that. So, all right. And the three again. All right, this is getting comical. Okay, we got a two. All right, we're gonna do Janelle's challenge from Janelle Ray Budgets. And since we haven't hit this one yet today and it's our last one, I'm gonna do quite a bit on this one. So I don't know. 
Let, let's do, oh, that's right. I'm, we're not going to fast forward. So let's just do it together. Okay, I'll do this one right here. So we have 15 and it's hard to see if it's done or not. Okay, so let's just go right here. But, um, 15 plus 15 is 30 plus five is 35. Let's do one more. 35 plus 15 is 50. So we'll do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so that's awesome. We made some good progress on that one as well. And that is number two. So it's in the beginning here. I also need to finish this binder so I can relinquish. Is that the word? Re relinquish all of my fully funded slips that are in here. Okay. So we'll throw that in there. I'm not going to keep counting these because we're, we're still adding to them today. Probably, maybe. Okay. So three again. Two. Okay. So we will do some more. I know some of you are saying get a second die, but I'm afraid if I get a second die, I'll roll a two and a one and then I'll be conflicted about which one to do. So, okay. So let me, let's count the money though. I want to make sure. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 38. All right. I don't want to go back to Cindy's. I think we're going to just stay here and finish the, the 38 on this. So, um, cause I might end up with a big IOU on hers. So let's, so 38. So five plus 10 is 15. 15 plus 15 is 30. And Oh, guys, I want a five so bad, but I'm going to get an IOU. I know it. Ten. Okay. So we got, we have a total of 40. So we owe two. So let me grab some IOU notes and I'll tell you right now, I wanted to put the eight in the, in my a five charge up challenge. I was all excited to put some more money into that today. I had it already, but I thought for sure this would be a five in between the 15s and I don't know. It's okay. We'll just leave that on there for next time. But you guys, I think we only have three left on this one. So we are getting there. So we're, we're going to put the rest of the money into this one. And as we do, let's count this one and see how much we have in here. So That'll be kind of neat. And so we'll count this up and then we'll count how much we have in Cindy's, the other one that we have left. So I know if it's possible for us to finish it next month or not, because pretty soon we're gonna need to finish it so I can start Christmas shopping. So I usually, I used to, I used to, wow. Every year, as soon as the weather turned cool and there were signs of fall, that's when I would be itching to do all my Christmas shopping, but I'm holding strong and I'm waiting and it's really not because I have self-control because I could easily justify, you know, borrowing, not borrowing, but using some of the money in the finish challenges. But the only, I'll be honest with you, the only reason I haven't started shopping yet, yet this year is because I've been too busy with Etsy orders to shop. So that is the truth. So for this challenge, which is $300, wait a second. I'm so confused because I thought it's okay. It's $300, but these accidentally came out to 500. This should say 500, but we only need the 300. So I already took out the extra 200. So, okay. So that, so that is right. This, okay. So 150, 170, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 5, 35, 45, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 61, 2, 3. So 263. So I think that's 37 left we need. So we should definitely be able to finish this one next month. And now let's, I might've done the math wrong, but hey, I'm trying. <laughs> um, and then let's go to Cindy's and... This one scares me. We only have three left, but I know they're big numbers. So let's see what's in here. So on Cindy's, we need... Oh, and these are her two challenges combined, though. Oh, okay. So there's 100 on this one. And then 350 on this one. So total, 
we need to have 450. So let's subtract whatever this amount is here. So we have 150, 250, 3, 310, 20, 30, 40, 345. So minus 345. So we need, so we need pro approximately 140 to finish both challenges. So I already know we will because my YouTube money right now for September, it already says it's beyond that. So that means we are going to finish this next month. That is awesome. Maybe I'll do the video instead of the last Friday in October. Maybe I'll do it earlier in the month. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I'm so excited about that. So anyway, for real, you guys, that is going to be it. This is the end of the video. I hope that everyone has... Let's see, this is Friday. I hope that everyone has an awesome weekend and um, I will see you Monday. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I'm getting so close to 4,000 subscribers and it's super exciting. So thank you guys so much. And I just, I just love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.